quick dev tip. Did you know that you can optimize your tick rate per blueprint? There's a few different ways of doing this and different people have different preferences, so just keep that in mind. If we go into our blueprint here, you can see off our event tick, we have a print string. And if we play, it's got a tick constantly. We can change the rate of this so it's more optimized by going up to class defaults. And then here we're looking for a tick interval in seconds. So if we change this to 0.5, it's only gonna play every half a second. So this is a very clean way of doing it. We can also do it another way and that is to create your own custom timer. Some people like this, some people don't. So again, take it with a pinch of salt. If we go timer by event, this doesn't have to be specifically to do ticks. You can do this for other things. If we create this set timer event node and we do looping, that's gonna make it loop. We can also set a time. So under time, this is effectively our frequency. So in my case, I'm gonna do 0.1. You have to be a little bit careful that you don't uh, create a frequency that's so fast that it's actually less optimized than tick. If you make it too fast, then it's going to fire multiple times per frame, which is pointless. So really, you want to go no lower than, say, 0.1 or 0.05. If we use this little drop down here, you can see a few extra options, like initial start delay, but we're not going to do that today. So what we need to do then is create an event. So we can come off, drag off, and we can go to add event, add custom event. Uh, if you don't like these cables that kind of go across everything, we can use an event dispatcher. So if we come off again, and instead we go to event dispatcher, and we go create event. So you can keep this guy up here. And basically from this drop down list, you can find the relevant events that will work with this. So custom event. So now that's going to call that guy. So if we turn off our set tick enabled and we copy our tick print string to here. So this again is going to be another way to do a slightly more optimized tick. And if we change the time, just like the other way, we can have a slightly more delayed tick. An interesting thing about knowing about these two things is we can actually run them at the same time if we wanted to. So we could have, uh, if we turn our tick back on, we can have our some sort of light functionality on here. And then on our custom timer that we've made, we can have some more heavy functionality. So if we play now, see every so often we have a little heavy tick coming through. So like I said, this is uh, it's kind of based on personal preference and the situation you're using on, but hopefully by showing you that these exist, uh, you can help make your projects more optimized. And this works exactly the same way in Unreal 5 as well. So if we go into my blueprint here, we can go to the class defaults to get to the actor tick settings, enable disable tick as a whole. We can set a frequency, so half a second, second. And we can also do our custom timer by event. So setting a frequency, remembering to be careful not to go too fast, Otherwise we avoid our optimization gains. Sending it to looping, and then having an event coming off. So if we play, you'll see the red every half a second, as well as the constant tick. Take this all into consideration, and if in doubt, use the cleaner way up here.